Hello everybody, and welcome back to Hitman. Uh, my name is Dizzy, I will be your Hitman for this afternoon. Uh, we're back, and last time went badly, so it's only uphill from here. Uh, let me just get some things set up, hold on. Uh, yeah, Hitman. So, uh, we have played through the story of Hitman 1. I sort of skimmed over a few of the uh, early missions that I'd already played before off-stream. Uh, one sec, I need to get my controller set up. Why are you not registering? Why are you not recognising? Oh, that's a promising noise. Uh, yeah, so we have just one mission left of the final campaign of the uh, sorry the first campaign, and that is this Citus Inversus. It's in Japan, Hokkaido. I've never been there before. We're about to jump right in, and it's exciting. But it's, I mean, Colorado was rough, and that was only the second to last mission. So presumably, this has got to be even rougher, right? But, but how can it be? We'll find out, I guess. Good morning, 47. Good morning. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Sodas, who suffers from a rare condition known as Citus Inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant, and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records. Just listening to the briefing. Sorry. <laughs> active ICA operatives post operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery. And his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. All right. So, uh, welcome, chat. Welcome, Boom Boom. Welcome, Love Angel. Murder. Murder. Yes, murder is is about to happen. Uh, very exciting. This is Sodas. He looks a lot less healthy than the last time we saw him, which I suppose is. You know, he's here for a heart transplant. Uh, you kind of think that... Brayfire, welcome. Also murder. Good. I'm glad we're all on board. You definitely think that, like, working for an internationally, like, politically significant assassin organization would be enough money on its own to get a medical procedure done. But apparently not for old, old Eric Sodas here. He's thrown in with the, the wrong lot. Uh, oh my goodness gracious me. So, uh, Tobias Reaper's sweet. I don't know how sensible it is that we reuse, uh, our, like, pseudonyms. Oh! Oh! Gear not available. Concealed weapon not available. Oh! I see, so that's how this mission is made harder then. Good grief. I wonder if that'll change when I unlock, like, different starting locations. Hmm. Well, that's concerning. Boom says, gotta find tools like she said. Yeah, but, you know, you normally have to find tool tools. I hadn't realised this was, like, a special you have to find tools. Uh... Oh, and I don't even start with a smuggling area. So I can't even have a drop. Okay, this is going to be hard. This is going to be real tough. But at least the planning stage was easy. <laughs> planning, you can't do any. Right. Well then. 
Let's jump in. I, I, this is a, an excellent way for them to start because I already feel like I'm on the back foot. Not having throwable distraction items and not having my lockpick to get me in everywhere. <laughs> Boom says the plan is to have no plan. Well, if the plan is to have no plan, then I guess it can't ever not go according to plan. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. Oh, I see. So, like, organ the trafficking kind of thing as well. Good. System known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. Okay. You will find Eric Sodas in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment. A highly controversial procedure, yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite, or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Okay. Good luck, 47. Now, this is going to be interesting. Uh... Press B to stand up. Oh! Hello, Kai. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. Okay. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. Right, so. Gamma Hospital is part run by Kai. Charge of everything. No keys. Kai simply detects a pencil of small RFID chip. Okay, so maybe the lockpick wouldn't have helped anyway. Right. So, I suppose that means that whenever I change disguise, I sort of automatically get the ability to unlock a lot of doors. Okay, there's a journal. Device Reaper is in excellent physical condition. No indication of hereditary or age-related illnesses. Biomarkers indicate he's in perfect health. As an assassin, I feel like it's quite a brave and dangerous thing to just go around giving a bunch of people my, like, genetics, but okay. Uh, I've got a cupboard to hide bodies in. Oh, we've got some lovely tinky music. What's out on the balcony? Hi there. Okay. So I might feasibly be able to sneak my way over to whoever's room that is. Do the, is the map labelled in this game? I know the maps get labelled in, like, subsequent games. No, I don't think it is. Okay. Right, so we're on level zero currently. And that is... There's, like, a network of corridors and four patient rooms out here and then whatever this is. I think that's, like, the entryway exit way. And then... No, wait, hang on, that's not... that's my target. That's not me. This is me. That's my target. She's in her suite. Okay. And then Sodas is on level 2. So level 3 has a small stuff, and this might be another exit, possibly. Uh, so basically, as we go further in, like, we, we go up is the general gist of this layout. Okay. Do we have anything that we can use in here at all? What's this? Gamma pamphlet. Okay. Describing the facilities. Spa, restaurant, winter garden... Patients with appointments will be notified through the PA system. Okay. And then we have a bathroom. With... Oh. With, with, a, with a disguise that is my current disguise. Right, we've got a lethal throwable. Good start. It's a distraction item. We've got a guy outside. No key cards are needed. That's spooky, please don't do that. Oh, and look! It says it's unlocked when I get near. Fascinating. Alright. Hello there. Please keep moving, 
sir. Yep, don't worry. And then... You guys are, I guess, scientists? You've got a little plus on your back. Do you have something on your back? I think they have their rank on their back. Get well soon, Mr. Reaper. Thank you. Well, it's concerning that they recognize me. Right. Oh, what's this? Missing disposable scrambler. Okay, so there's like a lockpick equivalent item. Can I go up this way? Yes, thank you. I can't go that way. What is that way? We don't know. Alright. So this is all like patient side of things. Oh, we've got a map! Oh, that's fantastic news. Right, so zero guest rooms and cable lift, so that is an exit like I was expecting. We've got restaurant, Japanese garden, hot spring and clinic on level one, which is where I am now. So this is obviously the restaurant. The clinic is further up. The hot spring is on the other side. The garden, I guess, is in the middle, obviously. Sure. And then two, surgery and helipad. Okay, hi there, can I come through? Thank you. Alright. If you need anything, Mr. Reaper. Okay. She wants to be an author. She's not very interesting. Uh, mostly, like, if you just wander around, you'll find opportunities and stuff, and that's, I think, generally a good way to sort of approach starting. Hey, we don't want no sick people here, okay? Just please leave. What? Am I not allowed in this booth? Specifically. Okay, interesting. Also, we want we don't want no sick people here is an odd approach to a hospital. Oh, it's wonderful. No, it really is. Yes. Good evening, sir. Hello there. I'm assuming that's a staff only area, which is a shame because you've got some nice weapons on a magnetic strip behind you. That really is a shame. All right. And then is this where we came in from? Okay, but can I ask you something? Yes. Everybody this is where we came in from. Alright. There's a garden. Hello? Can I come past? Yes. Alright. I'm on the security camera. Not a great start, but we'll hopefully find the security office at some point. What's this? Oh, we can blend in as a handyman. We can rake up the... Uh... Oh, I have a raid! Thank you so much to, uh, Coyote! Hang on a second, uh... Welcome, 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 raiders! I absolutely cannot spell your name, I'm so sorry, Coyote. No, okay, apparently I can't. <laughs> uh, one sec. Oh dear. I'm so slow. There we go. Amazing. Wonderful. Uh, what have you been playing then? Uh, uh, my goodness gracious. Uh, it's good to see you. Um, -do -do -do. Alright, let's have a wander around. There's more garden up here. Bullshit. Language! Kitty says... Oh, hello. That's our target, one sec. Kitty says, I was finishing up Hitman 3 campaign doing some freelance. Ooh. Yeah, alright. Alright, Diana. Alright. I'm talking to chat. Shh. Um, yeah, Hitman 3. I'm excited to get on to Hitman 3. Obviously, we're here just at the end of Hitman 1. Uh, I picked up Hitman 3, actually, in the... Spring sale just recently, so we can potentially go from here on until the end. What are these two talking about? Sounds true. 
Ah, okay, so this guy works for Providence. Not for much longer. Speaking of threats, we may have a breach in security. My team is investigating. If we find anything, you'll be the first to know. See that I am. Oh, okay. So he thinks that there is a breach. He thinks that someone... Uh, me. Oh, I can just walk through the stream. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting that to work. Yeah, he, he's figured out that I'm here. Uh, we'll have a look at her for her routine in a moment. Katie says, Hitman 3 was definitely a great end to the trilogy. That's good to hear. My god, AI, hush now. Please shush! I'm talking to chat. Uh, yeah, I've heard that Hitman 3, like, a lot of the levels are a bit more sort of gimmicky. Not that that's necessarily, like, gimmicky in a bad way, but stuff like the, the Dartmoor level, which is supposed to be, like, a murder mystery and stuff, things like that, they sort of vary it up a bit more. Hi. Hi. Am I allowed through this door? I don't really know where I am. No, okay. Not through that door, then. Uh... Did I actually didn't finish looking up here because I got distracted? Opportunity updated. Apparently I've already lost my window for this one opportunity. Which I haven't even discovered yet. Haha. <laughs> uh, Kitty says, got a bit gimmicky at times. Still very good overall. Alright, what have we got up here? We've got a hammer. Very lovely, very lovely. Uh, none of this can actually be fiddled with. We've got a gap in the railing, which seems very dangerous, but could potentially get us somewhere. Uh, no doors up here. Okay, let's head back in. Wait, is there a... Are there any doors on this side of the... Compound. No, there's no way from the garden straight into the like clinic bit. Okay. Uh Katie says this map is super tight with people and guards. I love the map, but man, it can be frustrating. Okay, that's good to know in advance. Right, so this is another patient. You're not the guy who is with Providence. You are another Things patient. With a, a, a hat. What have we got here? I think this is the way up to surgery, which I assume presumably I'm not allowed. Are you nuts? No, no okay. patients in here. Go back to bed. No patients in surgery, got it. That's a staff only area. Here we have the hot spring. Hope you have everything you need. Thank you. I can change into a dressing gown if I want. Hi everyone! I realised I did just step into like a Japanese hot spring spa place without checking if there were like <laughs> any settings I needed to change to make sure this was ready for Twitch Terms of Service, but I seem to have lucked out. Uh, Boomer says, patience <laughs> seems like something you want in surgery. <laughs> Oh, I am carrying a hammer. Thank you, Love Angel, for pointing that out. Uh, and patients are a prerequisite for surgery. Well, yes, but it's fine. Can I get in the water? I can. I can... Wow. It looks a lot deeper where you guys are. Maybe you're just small. Alright, what have we got here? Pick up yoga schedule. It certainly appears that Yuki Yamazaki is a fan of yoga. A schedule near the hot springs reveals that she has booked the trainer all day. Feeling flexible, 47? Oh, I'm definitely feeling flexible, Diana. Um... <laughs> it says the girls are very chill about it. Pima says it's an emotional support hammer. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Lavender, are they wearing a towel inside the water? Yes, they are. That's like classic for depictions of hot springs that people don't want to get to, like, uh, scandalous. Okay, I can clear out the yoga area. I wonder how I do that. Well, let's not rush to go and do this opportunity. Let's let's keep looking around first. That's not a door, that's a mirror. This is a restroom? Slash sauna room? Okay. Interesting. I bet there's going to be a sauna room accident. You are stood in here. Hi there. I'm fairly confident that I won't be able to disguise myself as you. Uh Right, a lovely sauna. Hi there. Ah, uh, and there's this is a little staff only area. But I wonder if there's some controls for the sauna room by there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's more or less it, Kitty. Oh, hello! Hi there, are you going in the sauna? Okay. Okay, so, there's, there's, it's not listed as an opportunity per se, but... Well, maybe it is actually, hang on. Uh... Maybe that this is called Hot Springs, so maybe this is that sauna opportunity. Okay, so maybe if I do this, she'll go in there and I can cook her after her yoga routine. That sounds likely. Alright, where else can we go? Oh! They've got symbols on them that tell me what clearances get you through. I see. Uh, right. Yeah, Hello. Yep, I am going ahead. I suppose we might as well, now that we're here with her and we've explored most of the places we can get to by ourselves, we might as well see about following her and see what her routine is. That was a very aggressive bow. How are you today, sir? Oh, okay. She's doubled back, doubled back on herself. Okay, so they go and have this meeting that we saw before. Let's have a look-see. A little little eavesdrop, Hope don't mind me. Security breach you mentioned. I take it you found something. All right, no. Um, we're still looking. This is something else, I'm afraid. I know you prefer not to know our methods, but well, our man was in such a hurry to acquire a heart for Mr. Soldiers, a right-sided heart. That he didn't cover his tracks? Uh, not sufficiently, no. The curator was able to find a donor in Brazil. Strictly. Oh, of Jesus leaders. Christ. He paid the leaders of his gang to look the other way, but someone rolled. Okay, so actually organ trafficking, like we sort of said. Customs. And just yesterday we caught an Interpol agent snooping around. He, okay. Are you telling me that Interpol tracked an illegal black market organ trade to this hospital? Regrettably. We will reach out, pull the available strings. In the meantime, Director, I suggest you get your house in order. Your chair is wobbly. Okay, so there might be an Interpol agent sniffing around, perhaps, that we could find. That would be interesting. For now, let's keep following her. Don't mind me, Mr. Bodyguard. Hello, says, oh no, the doctor's going to be the next heart donor. Oh gosh. Good evening, sir. I'm guessing from the, the, the opportunities interface, I'm guessing that there's something to do with this heart. Maybe we can sabotage it or something. We put a bomb in it. <laughs> They're going to scrap them for parts. That would be a terrible way to like end your career as a doctor. Being cut up and put in someone else. What's Hello, what's that? Oh, that's just the lock. Okay, all the locks are highlighted. Gotcha. Right, she goes in here. Come, come. I 
don't know what you said, but that. <laughs> oh, did she eat? Did she have some little nibbles? That's right. Move on, people. Um, excuse me. Could I ask you for some fugu roll? A thousand apologies, miss, but hospital administration has put a ban on pufferfish. <laughs> <laughs> An incident with pufferfish, got it. Week, a kitchen apprentice Okay, we got intel. She wants fugu. She seeks to tingle her taste buds with the meat of the poisonous fugu fish. Now they are throwing out the last fugu. Okay. Uh. Love Angel says, also, are they going to put a kid's heart in a grown adult? Seems a bit silly. It won't be the right size and stuff, surely. That is a good point. I mean... I guess by kids, they could mean, like, a 16-year-old or something, who is basically already fully developed. And so does looks old enough. Yeah, Boom is right, it could be anything up to, like, 18. So does definitely looks old enough that maybe, you know, if it's not a perfect match, it's not like it being an imperfect match will kill him before anything else kills him. Okay. Alright. Jellyfish, hey. Oh, okay, and she goes in here now. Let me get out of your way, Hey, how you doing? Well, there's something hey, in there with her. Okay, just please leave. Can we talk? He's stable. Pre surgery stem cell treatment. Alright. Okay, so we're not on a time limit for the transplant. Oh, okay. So she's a pretty nasty piece of work in general. She's like, the rules don't apply to me. She backchats to her boss. What I wouldn't do for a cigarette right now. Surely one of the patients has a pack and stop. Oh, she wants a cigarette, huh? Interesting. I wonder if we can find that. Uh, oh, we have a Shaskor in chat. Welcome, Shaskor. Are you nuts? No patients. How's it going? Go back to bed. Katie says... I don't know how anyone ever figured out how to properly prepare puffer fish. That is a good point, but I suppose to some extent that's true of lots of things that are like toxic in various forms. <laughs> okay, that killed that person. Let's try again. Please forgive me. All right. Okay. I feel like we might be. Oh, there's a bathroom here that I should check there out. Is the director. Okay. Better catch him now. Wait, she. Goes for another meeting with the director? This isn't where she went for a meeting with the director before. Does she go between the two places and then have a meeting in between? I thought it said she might go to her suite at some point. Cheska says, I've gone insane and written five pages of lore for my DM about the place my character is from with more on the way. That is excellent, Chasco. I'm sure your DM is absolutely thrilled. I know I would be. Uh, I spent the weekend actually. You you need to get dressed properly. I can't let you through here. Sir, shush. I'm speaking to chat. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I spent the weekend recruiting new players, and I'd absolutely adore it if one of them came to me with five pages of backstory. My gosh. Okay. Right. Soon Gamma is able to perform medical miracles unavailable anywhere else, such as radically enhancing a person's lifespan. Oh my god, you're having the most boring conversation. Bim Bim says, This one tastes good. This one killed Brian. This one made me spend six hours talking to God. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, okay. And from there. She wanders off. 
So is the bridge trespassing? Or is it only trespassing on that note? It's only when they're having a meeting. Alright. Now where does she go? Is she going downstairs to her room? That would be good. I'd like that. You have a very shiny hairdo, sir. Oh my gosh. I hadn't noticed before. <laughs> you have a shinier hairdo than I have a sh than I do a bald head. Okay. And then is this your suite in particular? It's got like a logo on it. I can't let any patients okay. through this way. And then I can't I'm not allowed in that, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so like, that's like suite one, this is suite two, and I guess I'm in suite three. Good evening. And then there's suite four over here? Oh, suite four has a slightly different logo, but I'm still not allowed in. Gotcha. Boomer says, 47 must go through a lot of map foundation. Uh, Alright, let's check out that bathroom. See, because there was someone in there. Okay, this is interesting. It's got two entrances. There's uh, a room with a closet in here. Fantastic. Also, a distraction. A toilet control panel. Did that toilet just... Oh, wow. Okay. That's... Huh. Right. Okay. Sure. Uh, Sheska says, Fancy Moon Generation came up with the halfling surname of Glutton Belly, which is a great name. You're right. Now i got to write law for that family, too. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Who's in here? Uh... Lock's not working, but it's occupado. Capiche? Gotcha. You just uh, a half naked guy, okay? Fine. Right. Okay, let's go down to my suite in particular and see if we can climb across to this empty suite number three. Oh, actually, there was other stuff upstairs. There was a, a behind area upstairs that I didn't check. Hang on, I've forgotten that. Kyoti says, tell me I'm not crazy, there's a skill called sit on hands in d and Is there? There's lay on hands? Or sleight of hand, yes, okay, both. Good things, okay, no one's actually doing anything around here. Uh... <laughs> yes, lay on hands. Oh, and you're a, a janitorial staff of some description. I see, okay. Oh, and you go into the loo. Oh, this is not the loo. Help, I'm stuck. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought that was the toilet, so that was not the toilets. <laughs> I accidentally went into the security office. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> although, that did sort of work. Uh... <laughs> wow. Uh, let's drop a save, now that I've done a bit of exploring. My gosh. Uh... <laughs> I was like, oh, an excellent opportunity to get a guard in the lavatory. Nope. Um, Shesko says, I've been reading... Uh, oh, can I sneak in? Oh, I can, but I can't... Uh-oh. Well, that didn't go great, honestly. I was hoping to get behind him, and we have basically thrown out our chance at Silent Assassin here, which is a shame. Uh, but it might be worth it to... Oh, oh, okay. That other guy will still recognize me. 
Gotta get out while he's messing with the gun. Whoopsies. Whoopsies, whoopsies. It's fine. Oh, I should have had my hammer ready. That would have been smart. Uh, but we have disguise. Yes, we do have disguise. It's not looking like it's a terribly good disguise, I must admit. But we have a disguise. I actually should have snuck up on that guy behind him while he was grabbing the gun. That would have been clever. Oh well. Clever was never my strong suit. I might be able to sneak up on him now. Right, okay. So, security office is clear. Uh, there's a gun. I didn't want to blend in, I wanted to delete footage. Hang on. What have we got here? So, the building AI known as Kai not only keeps the building running, but it also controls the surgery robot in the operating theater. That's where Sodas is at the moment. The manual states that the AI will automatically revive any flatlined patient, which could prove to be a problem. Ah, but the hospital director does have access to the mainframe. Care to run a hospital, 47? Oh, okay, so I guess we can sabotage his, like, stem cell treatment that he's going for. That's what that opportunity will be. Interesting. Uh, where are we going to do? Oh, I'm just reading back up chat. Uh, RPG system, Shesko was reading. You get to make up names of skills. I mean, you could do that in regular D&D as well if you want to. Uh, Shesko says, I would like to use my silver hand skill to keep warm in the freezing temperatures. Uh, a little tip I learned from audio classes. If you have your microphone slightly off to the side, you won't get the sound of breathing on the mic. Ah, my apologies, Shesko. I will wiggle that just slightly hope that you can still hear me. Oh, hang on, what's this? Oh no, that's my original disguise, never mind. We've got the police baton. And the evidence, which I now don't really need to delete. Because, you know, I've already given the game away. <laughs> Boom says some people like heavy breathing in their ears. I'm sorry, okay? It wasn't intentional. Am, am I holding that police baton right? I sort of thought that you were supposed to hold it by the little sticky out bit. But what do I know? Uh, okay, so for that opportunity I want to disguise myself as the hospital director. Also, lady is coming through with... No, not with security guys who can see through me. There was a different security guy. Right, you're level 2. Does that mean I need level 2 clearance to get into her suite? Oh, there's a good no wind, though. Ah, amazing. Oh, and with this disguise, I bet I can get into sort of some of the more... high-level places? You no know security's high when you're not letting you guys through, but sorry. Rules are rules. Okay. Good. Sir, please comply. This is a restricted area. Yeah, sorry, I was just want to be here. I was just trying to figure out what rank you are. You guys are the same rank as me. But you I, you're still not allowed through that door behind you. Gotcha. Oh, there's a lot of guys who who enforce this disguise. My god. Uh Okay. Can I go through here? I can. Right. So this is new to me. Laundry. Laundry seems like a good place to pick up other disguises. Right. Resort staff member. I guess that's new. Right. Oh, I don't like that. Can we turn that off, please? Uh-oh. Someone sees me. There's a guard there who sees me. There's a guard out there who sees me. My gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, 
lot of annoying people out there. That Yamazaki lady, the lawyer, she's really expressing her mouth. Tell, tell me where the yoga guy is. Tell me where he is. Okay. He's injured himself. He's limping around somewhere in the hospital. That's not helpful. Fine. Uh, people talk about chocolate. Kyoti says, I remember the day they first invented chocolate. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. You always hated it. Oh. Tragic. Right, and we've got a mechanic here. I can make an oil leak out of this no-mobile. Oh, hello. I didn't necessarily mean to come out here. I thought there was another door behind me. I can't get through there. What what do you guys do? I'm sort of hoping that you'll... Oh, there's nowhere to hide a body here, is there, actually? Never mind. Oh, there's something over there. It might be rat poison. Hang on a sec. Uh oh, this is the worst of both worlds. Fine. I was hoping to distract him. Uh, but I did not succeed. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Kitty, for the follow. Uh, Kitty says, alright, gotta get going. Tired and hungry. Gonna get food and sleep. Oh, well, it was lovely having you. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, Alright. Really? Can we really not get the security guy to go and investigate stuff? At all? Oh, that was. This is terrible. I've now thrown that away somewhere. I'm not gonna be able to get back. Wow, you really? Hello. Stop doing that. It's okay, weird. Yes, hello. Say hi to Dad. Okay, bye. He really won't be budged from his post, will he? Okay. Well, we lost a hammer, but we still got one, so it's fine. Where'd that? Wait, that's the that's the massage guy. You're the massage guy. Okay. Hi there. Excuse me, sir. I'm investigating a disturbance. Uh, yeah. Bye, Cody. Um, right. You walked out. Do I think I can hit this guy behind her back? No, she's just turned around. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Potentially the biggest day. Huh? Jesus. No. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, all right. Oh, I got a challenge. What's up, dog? Okay. I actually probably don't want to do that. I want to go back to resort security for now. Although... Oh, I can't disguise myself as her because she's a, a girl. And 47 refuses to disguise himself as women. But it should be okay if I can just bonk you. Drag you in here, because I'm sure no one else goes in here now. They say. Not sure at all. Right. So, where can I go as this guy? Where am I? Where actually am I? Hang on. <laughs> ah, okay, right. Can I? You can tell me. Is it true the boss was connected back in the back? You kidding? 
Didn't you follow the big trial at all? It was everywhere on TV. Connected well, to was what? Away. You know, I'll be here in prison. Spent a lot of time in solitary. Okay, short version. Miss Yamazaki is known as the Yakuza lawyer. Please speak She's more quickly. She's a bunch of clan cases and gotten most of her off on a range of technicalities. Real shark. Man, I wish I'd known about her earlier. Could have saved me a few years of life behind bars. Then along comes his uh, big trial. Bono says he'd be down business. if the lady had the week to steal. <laughs> okay, right, so am I allowed through here firstly? Oh my gosh, here she is right now. God, it's a good job her bodyguards don't see through this disguise. Right, so you leave one bodyguard outside take staff and take one with you. Hi? No staff. No. This way okay, no side. staff. That's fine. Can I get into. No, I can't get into the suites. Interesting. Can I get into the suites as security? Hold on a sec. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Amazingly, actually, there are no disguises just lying around. As security. Uh, in the laundry. Huh. Uh, anyway. Right. There's anyone over there? Okay. No one over there enforces this. Uh. No! I still can't get through there as security! Interesting! Very interesting! All right. Uh, oh, I want to go down to the... have a look at the exit. See how we do. None of you guys seem to enforce me here. Ah, uh, hello. Like this. Good luck. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yuki so. Yamazaki dropped her cigarettes off the lift when arriving at the hospital. According to her bodyguards, this has put her on edge. Maybe you can help quench those cravings, 47. Cigarettes are contraband at Gamma, but surely not everyone follows the rules. Hmm. So the clients are trying. Okay, lawyer. so we can find search the Texan's room for cigarettes. That is definitely racial profiling, but okay. I don't know which one the Texan's room is, but, I mean, it can only be one of two, because it's not my room. Oh, can I not get- I can't get into my room! Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, maybe I have to go and change back into- oh, hello. Okay, yes, the Texan is in room four. Good. Right, through here we have a guy who will potentially see through me? Oh, you're a chef. Oh. I'm looking for some fugu fish, please. None of this seems to have fugu fish in it. Let's go into the meat locker. Can I close the door, please? Thank you. Uh oh, the meat locker also doesn't have any fugu fish in it, unfortunately. Did anyone hear that? Yes. You heard that. You weren't the chef I was sort of hoping to get, but it's fine. Pick up a kitchen knife. I'm assuming the other chef will see through this chef as well. Yes, okay. Uh, I can probably just nobble him out here.
Pop him in this one. That'll let me explore the kitchen. Right. What have we got? Poison cooking pot. No thanks. Okay, maybe the sushi isn't back here? Oh, hello. I can open a roller door. Ah, oh, interesting. And some poison. Lovely. Uh, Boom says, yeah, what if you're walking on yourself naked or something? Oh, that's when I'm trying to get into my room. Wait, stand up. I think that might be the fish. Oh, no. Oh! Wait, where? Where's Where, where might be the fish? <laughs> I don't know where you were talking about. I'm so sorry. I was not paying attention. Could it be on top of a shelf? Oh look, there's sodas lying down. Okay. Uh, oh! Yeah! It's not highlighted, but yes. Why? Cut fish. Deadly fugu fish. With a kitchen knife. Alright. Fugu fish poison. Fugu can be lethally poisonous to eat unless prepared by Master Sushi Chef. Su yeah. Sushi Chef. Thank you, Boom Boom. I would definitely have completely discarded that if you hadn't mentioned. Uh... Oh, challenge completed. Smell something fishy. Is this actually an opportunity? Or is this... No, I guess not. Uh, okay, so, I've got the poison fish, I don't know how to... That's a little harsh, isn't it? A total ban? I don't know, the patient did die. The famous one at that. Okay, here we go. What was the kitchen apprentice thinking, cutting out a fugu fish by himself unsupervised? I mean, it takes years of practice. Didn't the kid realize how poisonous those things are? Uh, he's a kid. I mean, probably wanted to show off, I don't know. Anyway, the hospital administration probably thought it would be better to just ban serving fugu altogether. Poor chef. That was his best party trick. Now what do we do with the last fugu? Uh, throw it out, I guess. Uh, it's a damn shame, too. The chef had to refuse serving Yuki Yamazaki his signature dish. I mean, despite her constant requests. She asked about it just an hour ago. It's really too bad. It was less than an hour ago. Serving a fugu. Following an incident where a guest was poisoned by a poorly carved piece of the poisonous fish. It appears, however, that Yuki Yamazaki is trying to sway the chef to slice up his final specimen and serve it to her. Who are we to deny her <laughs> such pleasure, 47? Okay, so. Right. That's that. I can blend in. Where am I? I've lost where I am again. Okay, I'm up here on the left hand side. There's the laundry where we were before, and then here's like a, there's like a big staff backroom area, I guess. Uh, I cannot believe they let Yuki Yamazaki be. Yeah, I saw her at the spa earlier. Entourage of body. Nice little sort of rock thing. What, the Yakuza lawyers? Okay, I don't oh. think... Oh, sorry, you were too light, don't you? <laughs> Alright. Uh, what have we got? Blend in the staff member. I don't really need to. Morgue, sleeping quarters, helipad. That sounds like a good thing. What have we got? Uh, there was a pickup. Soda can, okay. That's a throw ball. This. Did it go into the same bathroom? No, this is like a staff bathroom. Okay. He's having a shower with his underwear on. We can disguise star. Oh, and there's actual like a cubicle there. That's fine. We don't need this place. And then Doki Doki Pow Pow. Wait, can I? 
Ah, oh, no, okay. I can electrocute someone if they're playing the game, but I can't... I can't play the game myself. Right, so we've got some cupboards here. I guess we're now in sort of like... the back room bit. That's a fish tank here? Yeah? Oh, okay, I guess we're under... Right out of me. Oh, that's interesting. Boomer says, no doki doki pal pal sad face, big sad face. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Who's coming? I can't hide in this. Yep. Okay, I might be about to die. Whoopsies. I thought he was going to turn around and follow the throwable, but apparently guards in this level are basically immune to distractions. Which is not great. <laughs> uh oh. Someone over there sees through me. Hi there, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Alright, so... Level 1 security doesn't get me that many places, to be honest. But this is a new area, I think. Ah! We're at the sushi bar. I got a coin to replace that can that I threw away. I'm assuming I'm not allowed through here, am I? Security's on high alert, so nope. I can't even let you through here. Sorry. It's okay. What have we got here? Poison, prepare sushi as chef. Eyes open, sir. Grab the knives. And then oh, we're in a proper back area now, oh my gosh. Okay. Right. There's a security guard here who doesn't see through me. None of those guys seem to see through me. Can't go up from here though, we can only go down. I don't really know where I am, again. Oh, this is the corridor where the guy who spotted me was patrolling. Okay, there's a guy in there who... I have intel regarding the oh, pilot. hello! I managed to gather intel from the hospital's security system. The chief surgeon, Nicholas Laurent, seems to have frequent rendezvous with a helicopter pilot near the remote personnel exit. And rumor has it that the chief surgeon suffers from trembling hands. Okay. Interesting. I have no idea what this is about. You. So if I can disguise myself as the pilot. Are you asleep in there? Yes. What have we got? A pill stash. Okay. And somewhere where we can hide you, just so that you don't wake up. And then maybe somewhere we can distract the pilot into and nobble him when he comes past, because we saw him coming past, didn't we? Okay, what's up here though? This is the helipad, which I am allowed to be on, apparently. Okay. Are you the helicopter pilot? I guess you are. Okay. Who's this guy? Oh, he's going to go and get a pill. And I assume that's the doctor. 
right? Thanks, Ness. Oh, no, wait, he has gone and got the pill already. Okay. So I may have missed this opportunity, possibly. And I assume you're going to tell me I can't go past. I know your security yep. So you go off... Oh, there's like a, a little mountain path up there that I'll have to investigate. But I wanna... I wanna nobble this security guy first. I don't know if he's gonna go in the room on his own or if I have to lure him in. I'll find out in a minute, I guess. No, okay, I have to lure him in. That's fine. Weird. I heard that. <gasps> okay, so we'll come back to him. We won't do that just yet. We'll see where this side path goes first. What have we got? A drum. Uh, and then this goes around the outside up here. That's level 2 clearance. Okay. Oh, and then this... Okay, I thought that might be a way to sneak around past them, but apparently it's not. Uh, we can go up, or we can go around. Do 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 do. Oh, we're, we're well away from anywhere I've been so far. Okay. More level 2 clearance area. Uh, oh, that guy will see through me. But you're both level 1 like me. What the hell's this? Blend in as handyman. Okay, I can try and fix the track. Not helpful. Oh, is that a drain pipe? That is a drain pipe. I don't know where I can get. Oh, okay. Let's. Ha uh, ha ha. Let's make sure that I'm actually saved for one thing. Uh, because we haven't saved in a while. And then let's make sure those guards aren't coming back. Okay, I don't think they are. Oh, I wish I could climb faster, my god. Ah, okay. Right. That's a way into there. I don't have the appropriate disguise for... Oh, uh, yeah, that's... Okay, that's the way up to... the interior bit. Okay, so that's a different way in. We'll ignore it for now. Oh, okay, now we're back around here. Fine, fine. This snowmobile is switched on and might be an escape route. That's the edge of the mission area. Okay, oops, I've got to dance around these guys a little bit. Hang on. It's all well and good, all well and good. Alright. Do I want to... I think it's probably a good time to start out as an opportunity on... Uh, what's her face? So I'm gonna go back. I think I'm gonna try the yoga instructor one. Oh, there was another upwards path, wasn't there? That I didn't check. Hang on. Oh, someone's let off some lanterns. That's cute. They're very dangerous. They're like a massive fire hazard. Oh, I really wish I could. Lure someone outside, because that would be great. But I do not think I can. Okay. And this route up here... I suppose I can't jump across, can I, no? Where does this go? What? What? Okay. It's just a dead end. Right. 
I see. Okay. Oh, but I wonder if there'll be like a sniper point here. Interesting. Uh, I can't see where those two security guards are that patrol down there. I hope they don't come up this path, because that would be really bad for my health. There they are, okay. Right, let's... Oh my god, they do come inside! Oh, I just about got him. Just about got him. And with perfect timing, too. Uh-oh. Uh, I will, however, need to lure him further up. Did you not hear that? No, he was still looking. Uh, hey, just saw you do it. Over with oh my god. <sighs> ah! You horrible doctor! Oh, I think he picked up my coin as well. Blast. Uh oh, uh oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, you'll do. I really, really hope those guards can't see me from here. Ah! Who says the one penny that's bad luck to pick off the floor? True. True. A 47 mint coin. Oh my god, I just heard that and it terrified me. Okay, okay. We're just going to pull you all the way out of the way. So there's the smallest chance possible of you being found. Doop -de doo Just pull you up here. Right. Okay. I've got like a bit of a mask on, but only a bit of a mask. Let's see if this will get me inside, because I'm now level 2. I've got a level 2 stripe on my arm. Let's also see how many people see through this. Oh, a fair few. A fair few is the answer. None of you guys do. No one in this room does. Okay. What have we got? We've got some doctors. A cupboard I can hide in if I need to. Mr. Bodyguard. Oh, hello. You were the facelift opportunity guy. You seem very upset. I'm not sure why. That guy in there sees through me. Uh, do I need to go through that way? That's one of the staircases up. I see. The other... No, that's the staircase down. Oh, I'm actually above the level where the target does stuff. Okay. The other staircase down is obviously that one out there. Okay. Oh, this is almost a perfect place to nobble this guy. And hello. Maybe we might possibly be back. Just going to wait for concentration confirmation from the chat. Um, oh, I hate having to deal with internet issues. It's worse with Hitman because Hitman has this stupid always online DRM thing, which I hate. Uh, it's, a, it's a truly appalling thing to be in any game, to be honest. Uh, but what can you do, I suppose? I've also just had a thought, which is normally, like, I might try and pop someone off with the uh, the science pistol. But I can't do that this time, because we weren't able to smuggle items in. So, this might be a slightly trickier actual assassination to achieve when we get to that point. Uh, we'll have to see. 
Um, I'm just waiting on to see if uh, we do end up. Oh, Twitch once again thinks I'm live. Twitch is happy to show me live on this screen that I'm on, so I think I'm gonna have to push, press on. Uh, I think. Uh, oh, let's actually show you the game. Do, 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 do. That will help you see the game on the stream of the game. Alright. Um, thoughts for getting this guard out, out of the way. One moment. Uh... Bimisa seems to be stuck still. Oh, oh dear. Uh, hang on a sec. Ah, Boom Boom is back! Welcome back, Boom Boom! Amazing! Uh, apologies for the stream kerfuffles and problems. These things do happen. I'm just thinking about how to get rid of this guy, and I'm thinking that it might behoove me to drop oh, a gun sir. there. Uh, I think that might be yours. How did you see me do that? Uh, All right. Hey, excuse me, sir. You dropped something. Really? Okay. Fine. My thought was, I'll drop that and. They'll go get the security guy to Didn't see me there. pick it up. Do you mind, lady, please? Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's this? Unlock cabinet. I don't have a lockpick. Okay. So hopefully they'll distract one of those two guards out of the way when they see that gun. That's the plan anyway. I guess I'll have to use a, a lethal throwable kill if I need a ranged kill. Boomer says you hear see a pause screen. Oh, you're not supposed to see a pause screen. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, all right, okay. Do you mind, lady? You're really getting in my way. Okay. He's gonna come. He sees the gun. Hopefully, he picks up the gun. Yep. And then where does he go? Oh, I can eliminate that person out of the window if I want. Let's not do that. Okay. Okay, we're now in the guard training center. Is there no way out of this room? Oh no, there is a way out of this room, thank god. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, boom boom, oh no. Right, I don't know where that guy's coming back. Oh yeah, because girls obviously can't do push-ups normally. Idiot. Okay. So. This is now level one. Surgery. Surgery life support. Waiting area. Intensive care. Oh! Hey, Jesus. I was really hoping you wouldn't come back specifically. <clears throat> Sod. That was the guy coming back from hiding my gun. That that's not ideal. That's in fact the opposite of ideal. <laughs> Lost. I don't even know where he is. Okay, he stopped looking for me, so he might be coming back. I don't know where he is. Superhuman 
Oh, hello, what's this? Stem cell treatment. There he is. Okay, so it turns out I didn't actually need to sneak past you anyway. But... Oh, he's using an ether branded medicine, which is interesting. What's this? Hello, hello, who are you? Okay. You're observing the procedure. Is Eric Soders, former training director at the ICA. Okay, so from here I could theoretically just shoot down. Oh, there's a guy in the opposite one. There's a guy in the opposite one who sees through me over there. Good job I didn't run into that room. Alright. Okay, let's try going down here. Uh, right. Who on this floor sees through me? One person in the operating theater. That's, I guess, a little bit to be expected. And then two people in here. This is some sort of security waiting room. With a bench that I guess is a blending point. That I don't currently need. Are they? Are they? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but you can see through the glass. You just can't stop watching it, you know? You're hearing it. Hello? Shape and arteries all reversed. Gaily. Just... Jesus, he's being very rude about this guy's heart. Right sided so donor heart, then added to the hospital's organ storage facility. I don't think about where it came from. Yeah, I know, I know. Just don't think about, yeah. Probably some tragic accident. I, I feel horrible, but that's the donor <laughs> system. Tragic accident, yeah, sure. Oh, this is my... Uh... Physically, Mr. Reaper is like the other man in his early 20s. Kai was asked to run all test results through her algorithms twice. Note from Mr. Reaper, because it's possible to keep Mr. Reaper at Gamma a little longer to run some additional tests, this man is literally one big stem cell. It's almost as if he's been engineered. Ooh, well, there's some interesting lore. And then Jason Portman, the full facial reconstruction. Reference images of Helmut Kruger added to the patient database prior to Mr. Portman's arrival. Oh no. This need to prove to be quite a challenge given the weak chin and almost non-existent cheekbones of the patient. <laughs> oh my gosh, amazing. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Oh, I think he's telling the other doctor that the organ was trafficked. Does that seem like a happy coincidence? Uh, says, does the game sound screwy to anyone else? Oh no. It's gargly. Uh... Well, there's another, yet another problem that I don't think I can fix, because the game is fine on my end, and OBS isn't showing any problems with it. Oh dear, this is going to be one of those streams, I guess. Right. Oh, hello! No, you came in here. I guess you're the person who I would, like, ideally want to nobble in here. Right, and then there's more doctors out here. There's a lot of doctors in this place. It's a well-staffed hospital. More stairs. That goes to the landing pad. Is that good? No. Okay. Not even the bodyguards go in there. Interesting. Okay. Or in there either. Okay. Huh. Alright. 
So what disguise do I need to be allowed in there, then? No. Okay. I need a I need a doctor disguise then I guess. Which we did almost get on the upper floor beforehand. Sadly we can't use hers. Because 47 refuses to disguise himself as women. We could, however, get her out of the way in the cubicle. If we can find out which cubicle the other security guy goes in, and then that might let us nobble someone in the other room. Boomer says, never mind, everything still sounds like it's being filtered through a wang. Oh no. Um, i tell you what though, have we actually found any... We've not found any of these... ...opportunities for Sodas himself, apart from... We did eventually find the face reconstruction guy. Where's the organ? Where's that being kept? It's not in that room. Oh, hello. Right, where do you go when you're in the loo? Oh, do you just come in here? Oh, that's perfect if so. We don't actually use either of the cubicles, we can just hide her in a cubicle. There, you wash your hands, with gloves on. And then you walk out. Perfect. Okay, so... Oh, but we've got the pilot actually as an opportunity for sodas, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So... I'd like, I'd like to have a look around in there first. So, let's see if if we wait for her to go out. Sorry, can you go out, please? Please leave. Amazing. Do I think I can? Hmm. I'd really like to have another pistol, actually. So I can send one of you away to find a guard, that would be ideal. While she's gone, while she's in here, we're going to... Uh-oh. She's about to leave imminently. I've missed my chance. Blast. Okay, I'll go get the... I'll nobble the guard that comes in here. Then I'll nobble her. And then I've got a pistol. I can drop the pistol in the room with those two guys, which will send one of them out. They'll go and fetch a different guard, which will give me time to nobble the other one and put him away, hopefully, and then change into the disguise, is the plan. Okay. Uh... Yep, there's a clank in the loose. Very suspicious. Hello there. Hello. Uh. That is just so dangerous. You should be in prison. Don't hit me. <clears throat> How did you see that? I did not think you were coming back for a while. That's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate indeed. Well, we weren't getting Silent Assassin today anyway. Um, okie dokie. So, now what I want to do is drop that sneakily on the ground. Hey, wait a minute. Wait for you to go and tell a guard. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. That was exceptionally close, my god. 
Who says that was the roller coaster promotions? It was. It's not fun hearing them say, no, please don't hit me. Oh, he's coming out this way. Of course he bloody is. Okay. You busy over there? Fantastic, you don't even recognize me. Alright, let's drop a save. Again, we've we've scuffed Silent Assassin at this point, so being sneaky doesn't matter. I'm Okay. Uh, interestingly, looks like the Chief Doctor doesn't recognize me either. Hi there. A lot of education to wear that coat, huh? What are you, a dentist? Uh, anyway, you can't come through here. Oh! Not gonna happen. Even a regular doctor can't go through there. Apparently. Interesting. Alright, well, maybe there's more opportunities upstairs? I can get to? No, I need a level 3! I, I haven't even seen any level 3 guys! Where the hell are level 3 guys? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, you see through me. I'm sure you didn't see through me before. You did not have that dot above your head a moment ago, I swear. Can I put the hammer away please? Can you, can you turn around? Thank you. Okay. So where the hell is a level 3 security guy? And that is a crosshatch security that I've not seen either. Are you level 3? I can't see your arm. You're level 2. What the hell does a level 3 security look like? Oh, what's in here? Hello. Not been in this room before. Interesting. That's the Kai main train. What's this? Interrupt procedure operation controls. View intel. Robot maintenance controls. We used to test the hydraulics of the surgical robot arms. They should only be used. If there is no patient present, as a precaution, Kai is instructed to prevent any patient from harm. Okay. Warning. Operations procedure overwritten. Right. Warning. No vital signs detected. Okay. Commencing resuscitation procedure. Charging defibrillator. Boom Boom says, Ready. accursed internet. Has it has the uh, has the stream gone down again? No, stream looks fine on my end. Hmm. Three, okay. Two, one, right. Okay. So I can't get in there. Ah, is he now going to come and investigate? That would be fab if he did that. I sense a pulse. Vitals are returning to normal. Mr. Sodas is stable. What way is he coming? Resetting. Operations procedure. He he proper ran out of there. Where is he going? Is he coming here? Who says okay that one was just me? Fair enough. I was sort of hoping that that would be a distraction that would bring him up. Well, I guess not. Hmm. I wish I could see where he went. Oh, he went over there. I see. <laughs> now, I've lost my gun, so I can't just shoot him through the glass. I guess let's go and try this opportunity out. Let's go and grab that pilot's disguise. Uh, where's the thing? It's down here. Uh, hang on, I need my map. 
I can't remember exactly how to get to where the pilot is. <laughs> I'm lost. Uh, drop this guy's bodyguard. Uh... He's over there. Okay, I want to go out via the helicopter pad. So I'm assuming I'm allowed to be. Yep. Hi there, gang. Don't mind me. Lovely music. Nice day, isn't it? Okay, so, disguise myself as the pilot. Uh, disguise, helicopter pilot. Let's also grab a resort security disguise just so that it's marked on our map. Meet with the chief surgeon. Which normally happens sort of here-ish, right? Okay, none of you recognize me. Oh no, he's, he's gone! He's losing! He's You're not allowed to be here, sir. Oh, okay, Please okay. Leave. Please stop, sir. Okay. I need to get frisked. My kitchen knife will be detected, so I need to sell my police baton. Hang on a sec. <laughs> I really hope that hasn't screwed up my opportunity just because I missed slightly. Okay, right. You get dropped. Uh, you drop item. Okay, everything else we're allowed through. Okay. Hang on. Evening, Captain. I can now get frisked. Sir, I'm just doing my job. I gotta patch you down. Sorry about that. Thank you. Right. No, I can't actually get like in. Oh, I can get in. Okay. Right. But I need to wait for the chief surgeon. He's just, unfortunately, just missed this part of the loop. Hi. I'm. I'm the aviator. Oh, right, the helicopter pilot. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have you on the list. <laughs> uh, uh, That's it, fine. It's, it's not me who, well, All right, we gotta wait for a bit. That should be okay. We know that the security cam's offline, so that's fine. We don't need to fret about that. Oh, Chief Surgeon, hello. Sir, Nails, I uh, need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I okay. Get it. You're not an errand boy. Lead the way. I really hope that. The fact that I've left a bunch of wet, sharp objects. My, uh, my, my father flew helicopters. He was very, uh, very brutish. Uh, me, I'm, I'm a lot more refined. Yeah, I hope by the fact that I've left a lot of weapons down there won't upset him. Come on, sir. This way, please. It's just in here. Here we are. Help yourself. Thanks, Nails. Uh, oh, there's no space in here to hide him. But that's probably okay. Well done, 47. This should provide you oh. to get close to sodas. Uh, right. I'm gonna try and pick everything up on the assumption that I'm unlikely to get frisked as this guy, but we'll see. Boom says this guy's a bit tactless to say the least. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm fairly confident no one's gonna go in there. Hi. Oh, he recognizes me. Okay, that's fine. We'll take a different way around. That's okay. So I should just be able to get in up here? Yep. Fine. The guard in there will recognize me as well, but not this guy, so that's okay. Now, some people down here recognize me. Ah, including 
that person in there, which is a little unfortunate. Let's drop a save, just in case this all goes tits up. Excuse my French. Oh, oh, oh. Put it off! Yeah, like if I do that, for example. Ahem. <clears throat> Pressing the wrong button, thinking I've I'm got to get a, a hammer or something ready to clobber the guy in there with. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. That could have gone better, but also could have gone worse. What's through here? Oh, this is a a stairwell. I didn't even know there was a stairwell there, but okay, sure. Fine, what have we got? Stem cell console. This console controls the transmission of stem cells from the canisters to sodas. Terminating the treatment will flush the canisters. New ones will be required to continue the treatment. I don't know what that means, to be honest with you. Uh, and then there's someone in there who also sees through my disguise, which is unfortunate. But I wonder if I have mainframe access. Okay, Eric Sodas suffers from Cytus Invertus, uh, challenges in terms of recovering a suitable donor heart, for sure. One such heart did find its way to Gamma, resides in the Organ Vault. Nicholas Laurent has been flown in to assist Kai with the heart replacement. Sodas is currently being prepared through a series of groundbreaking stem cell treatments. Patient has not yet been put under. Where the hell? Is this bloody organ? Okay. Doctor, good to see you. Hi there. Uh, no harm done. Can you stop looking at me, please? What's this? Robotic surgery control console. Why operate? Uh, L. Select procedure. Activate robotic arm. Extract blood. I think that was wrong. Okay. Oh my god, that's a bit much by me. Jesus Christ. So does down. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel about this one. Well, that's for another time. Yamazaki awaits. Okay. Good news, we killed him. Bad news. Human error. Cause of death, human error. Okay, even... Okay, the body has been found. That was to be expected. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... I need to find a way to get out of where I am. Where the hell are the stairs? There's stairs down here, hang on. Uh oh, I'm apparently compromised. That's not good. And hunted. That's even less good. I also have no idea where I am. But apparently there's a... a thing here. Okay, I need to change my disguise pronto. There's a something incineration unit here. Oh, can I not put this away? No, okay, we'll drop it again then. Uh, we found the mortuary. Which is... okay. 
Uh, someone's seeing me. I don't even know who, but someone is. Okay. Right. Boom says, fun how they have to actually have the conversation about you first, I guess. So did someone find... Oh, maybe someone found the chief doctor's body and that's why I'm compromised? I'm not really sure what happened. To be honest. I also have zero idea how to get out of where I am. Uh... Because I'm a stem cell treatment guide. Ruin stem cells. Oh, I could have done this to kill him instead. That's a shame. Who says you were seen going in and operating on him? Oh! You mean because I'm disguised as the guy who killed him? It automatically compromises me. That's a really cool feature, if so. I need to get out of here. Wait, what? Sorry, you're just gonna have to wait for my research paper. I'm following the trial closely, and with a little luck, it'll be the basis for my doctorate. All I can say is, I've got a very spooky feeling inside. This guy's got a, a brain chip? The curator has a serious issue with his biochemical stability. The system has documented his condition. Oh, okay. I'd have to find a. Time when that guy. Right. I really desperately badly need to find a new outfit. Medical staff sleeping. Near a chip remote control? <laughs> okay, right, sure, fine, lovely. My god, can no one bloody... Hmm. I might need to actually just... Lure someone and nobble them. I can't remember the way back to any of my disguises. Where are my disguises? Hang on. There's one down and around here. Oh, I'm not allowed in there. That's the kitchen. Oh, that's okay. There shouldn't be anyone in there. Right, hang on. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, right. So, I'm no longer having problems with this. Given that I am disguised as the chef, my plan was to do the massage therapist route, but shall we go and do the sushi route instead? Only if I can find it, though. Time to fug up y Yuki, yeah. Stairs, fantastic. Right, sushi bar. Uh, to the left. Uh, Shaska says, so interesting turn of events. So I made up the character. My character's mother is pressuring my character to marry. I see. Dip. Uh oh, okay. You will see through me, but you won't. And I think Hi, chef. this is the correct one, right? Hang on. Opportunities. Uh, Thrill Seeker. Track. I have to poison the sushi. Okay. Hey there, chef. Oh, I see, okay. I have to poison the sushi first. Hang on. 
Fugu fish poison. I assumed I would just prepare the fugu fish into the sushi. But no, okay, apparently not. All right, 47. Let's make sure this is her last meal. Uh, Shasta says, I decided to go to Xanathar's to roll for one previous life event as inspiration. I rolled that he got married. All right, here she comes. I assume I have to stand here. No for an answer. Excuse me. I wish I Would you like to try out delicious sushi? Freshly prepared, of course. Is this fugu? I knew you would come around eventually. Good for you. I hope you like it. My colleague is a straight arrow. Me, I say it's good to live dangerously. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Ooh, yes. Okay. Just a skinny That's chef. exactly right. I assume she's now going to drop dead. My compliments to the chef. Hey there, chef. What's up? Huh. You seem surprisingly Uh oh. She's walking straight past me. Jesus Christ. That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. Whoops. Do, do, do. What do you mean immediate medevac? You're in a hospital, my guy! What do you need medevac for? Uh, alright. Boomer <laughs> says, is she talking about the fish or something else? Uh, Shasko says, I wrote that he got married, meaning that he was previously married and was divorced, possibly forcefully by our families for an arranged marriage. Ooh. Okay, people are looking for me. Where the hell am I? And where do I need to be? I need to turn right. Go this way. Uh oh, he's now searching. Ah, I need to go around the back of the kitchen. Gotcha. You're not searching. Hi, That's chef. fine. Hi. Do do do. Okay, and. Away and out we go. Yeah, okay, those guys aren't gonna cause any problems. Woo! Oh my god, that was stressful! <laughs> oh. We did it! We killed the guy! There's even fireworks for us! Wonderful! Oh my god, so that's the end of the game! Or the end of the, the story. God, have we booked out this entire train car? <laughs> That's not what my ticket says. Okay. You're a Providence guy. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No. You didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for soldiers, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICE look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. Okay. That's why we're hiring you. To take him down. Oh. I don't think so. Don't rattle like our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. Now, can't be trusted. Well, of course, they can't be trusted. So, They're hiring assassins. For a long, long time. I think we could help each other. I'm just gonna give a card. Some twenty years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. Oh, he knows about me as well. In Interesting. Way, he cares about you. He knows quite a lot about me. 
Ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor. Some depraved experiment. But he's gone now. Ah. Uh, now, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. I don't know if that's a, a previous Hitman story that I'm not As aware said, of. Uh, but I assume that this was 47's original story, this trilogy of games. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We. We are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Birdwood, we won a long time ago. Do 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 do. <laughs> this is maintenance. Wow. <laughs> okay, so Providence wants to recruit ICA's help. Maybe we will or won't be helping them in Hitman 2, who knows? Oh. Is that a little picture of Baby 47? <laughs> also, how come I'm a living stem cell but I don't have any hair? According to that medical document. Uh, but yes, we hit all the mans, as Boom Boom says. We finished, we won, we did all of the things. Oh, we even got some credit. We had a super long cutscene and some credits. Wonderful. Uh... I mean, it's no secret that I love Hitman. I've really enjoyed playing this. Uh, it's also no secret that Colorado was the exception that that proves that rule. Uh, because, oh my gosh, it was a horrible mission. But Hokkaido was much nicer. I That final end bit where you actually get to sodas is very concentrated. And... Like, it's it's small and dense, and there's a lot of, like, differing levels of security in there. I still haven't found a bloomin' level 3 guard. I don't know... I don't know what, what those look like. Maybe that's just, like, the director? I don't know. I haven't even seen the director. Well, sorry, I've seen the director. I don't think I've seen the curator. Unless the curator is the director. I'm not really sure. Uh, and this is the, like, quietest credits that I've had in a long while, which is nice, because we don't have to turn them down. There's basically just little background music. Um, what other thoughts do I have? I mean, I'm definitely going to be playing the rest of, like, the Hitman bonus and side missions and stuff. I'm definitely going to be playing Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 eventually. Ah, oh, in loving memory of this guy who passed away. I can't calculate his age off the top of my head, but I feel like that's not a, an old age to pass away. Uh, do do do. Summary. We've got, so we've got an hour left of stream time. I'm gonna throw this open to people in chat. Do you want to see me start some of the, the bonus missions and side missions now? Or do you want me to come back to that fresh in a new Hitman stream either later in the week or next week? How you feel about that? Oh, the scarecrow. <laughs> Pretty Bangkok. Interesting witch doctor from Sapienza. I feel like I'm going to recognize most of these places. I've explored the levels pretty thoroughly. It's the, uh, the ceiling coming down on Novikov in France. Boop. Boomer says we probably wouldn't finish one today, would we? I don't know is the honest answer. I, I don't know. So there's the, the actual full-on bonus missions, which I've never tried. And I think somewhere hidden around there's stuff like escalation contracts and stuff, which, like, might be quick enough to do in an hour. Because it's just like you go into one mission over and over again and pop one guy and the first run through should be fairly quick. And then we can just 
get to however far we get through. Uh, elusive target cast, which we haven't done any of those, because annoyingly... Okay! Okay, we're going to see our, our mastery and our unlocks and stuff. We got to level 2. I feel like we didn't do super well. Level 6, that's not great. Escalations could be good, yeah. Silent location spa, a, hidden, a new hidden weapon. I didn't see what the other two things were, and I think a new agency pickup. Fantastic. So we were spotted, apparently, and we did have bodies found, which is a shame. We didn't silent assassin it, but not to worry. Uh, exit menu. Boom says escalations could be good. Okay, well, I'll go and have a look at least. Uh, we're definitely not doing professional difficulty. I don't hate myself that much. Contracts? Career? Challenges? Elusive targets? Yeah, so there were the elusive targets, which were like fully fleshed out missions with bonus characters and acting and stuff. But they were only available for like a few days each back when the game first came out, and there's no way to replay them. Which is such a missed opportunity. Like, it's so silly that you'd have that. Like, oh yeah, here's this whole thing that you can't do. Great. Uh, challenges? No, it's that. Contracts. Campaign? Destinations. Uh, okay, so there's escalation missions at all the things. Shall we hop right into, like, the, the very training level, which I assume has got to be the easiest escalation mission, right? We'll jump into that and see how we do. Uh, Boomer says we don't get to kill Gary Busey or Sean Bean. Wait, Sean Bean was one? What? I missed that. I knew Gary Busey was one, although I don't really know who Gary Busey is. Who is, who is Sean Bean? Uh... I don't know which one is. That you were Gary Busey, right? Yeah. Oh. Shut up. Missed. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have no idea which of these people might be played by Sean Bean. Uh Lover says that is very dumb. It is. I assume there's probably like a mod out there that someone will have made to unlock them again. Uh Boom says, uh, Sean oh, Sean Bean, I think, was the second game. Gotcha. Alright. Destinations. I say facility. First escalation mission. Target. Evan Holden. I don't know who that is. Use kitchen knife. Wear disguise yacht security. Oh, and I don't get planning for this. Although that might just be because it's the opening level where you don't get planning. Alright. Boom says Gary Busey is a somewhat wild actor. Certainly his description in the elusive target missions made him seem quite out there. He's <laughs> immune to small arms fire. Gotcha. Oh. Okay, so the room that's normally full of weapons is today not full of weapons. Interesting. We've got our exfiltration point there. And another exfiltration point down there if we want it. Although without a lockpick, we are not getting through that gate. I will tell you that for nothing. Interesting. And we can't get in that building. We can't get through there. There's security out front. As is old uh, white hat over there. I guess we gotta go in the same way as we always do. In through here. Double this guy. Dump him in the loose. Can we save? 
We cannot save during an escalation mission. Gotcha. So, we are... We are one-lifing this. Alright. And there is still the Enforcer inside. Hey, as up? ever. Hi there, don't mind me. Go in. There is a way through the back here. I think this is the way to get a security guy disguise. Oh! Hello! The security guy there actually is our target. Which is unfortunate. Because what I would like to do... Is get his disguise. But obviously we cannot do that. Uh, he doesn't see through us, and he is himself relatively unguarded. I think there might be another security guy around here if we're lucky? Yes, there is. Uh, I will need to separately grab a kitchen knife. So, let's head upstairs. Uh, find the kitchen. Where is the kitchen? There. Can I go through the door, please? Thank you. Right. Here is a kitchen knife. Here is a wrench. Uh, you might cause a fuss if I pick up the knife, so we're gonna bonk you. Dump you. That will let me pick up the knife without a fuss. Doopity doo. Head back down. Uh, security guy. Through here. And then where's the dumping point for this body? Oh, a crowbar. Fantastic. Let's just... Oh, what's this? Another wrench. Let's just double check our objective. Kitchen knife or yacht security. Okay. I assume this disguise is yacht security. Oh, the dumping point for this body is literally right here. Yacht security, correct disguise. Grab the gun. Grab the kitchen knife. Uh, okay. It does, I was hoping it would like say, oh, you're wearing the right thing. But no, it does not say that. Go find him. Stab him, stab him, stab him. Dump him in here. And then if I'm extra lucky, I might be able to leave by the speedboat at the back. Only if I can get find it though. Right. Okay, so escalation rank one did not take very long at all. Mission accomplished. Oh. I've been given a lot of challenges that aren't for this mission, but okay. <laughs> Silent Assassin, fantastic. Play next level. New objective. Additional security cameras are present. If recorded, delete the evidence within two minutes. Now that's interesting because I don't even know where the camera place is. Okay. Right. And without a silenced weapon, avoiding being recorded is quite tricky. Uh... 
All right, I can't see any on the outside of the boat. This is where I'd put one if I wanted to be horrible. There's something yellow out there which I want to grab actually, hang on. Alright. No cameras over here. No cameras in here. Dump the body. Wear the clothes. Alright. Now. What's that yellow thing over there? I don't know. Uh, I probably still can't get out. Oh, I can get out from this side. Can I get over there? I don't think I can. I don't think there's a way over there. Interesting. I wonder why there's an item there then. Okay, so. We have the disguise that we want. Sure, sure. Okay, there's the camera. Oh, for sodding out loud. Alright, okay, I don't know where the evidence is. So we're probably going to fail this run. Uh, I have to really quickly go and get this other guy's disguise because I probably... Right, hang on. Excuse me. I've got to go and find out where the hell the, the security office is. And I have to do it quickly. Uh... Hey, you seen Ramon? No? Nah, probably sleeping. We've got one minute. Oh, he's seen me. We've definitely fucked it now. Jeez. Excuse my French. Hey, mister. Who are you again? Where the hell is the security office? You. Oh, it's gonna be up on top, isn't it? Whatever. Is it? No, it's not up here either. Where the hell is this place that I'm supposed to be going? Uh... Is it in his office? I've probably failed, just because I don't know where the security thing is. Where the hell is it? Is it this room? No, that's a lavatory. Three, two, one. Where the hell? Okay, no idea where that is at all. We searched pretty much the whole boat there. And I like how I was i was almost correct in where the evil security camera placement would be, but i was it was not this door that you have to go through, it was the other door that you have to go through. Bimmer says be more stealth. Yeah, we'll try. Uh, okay. So this part of the level we can do much the same. And then... It's through this door. Now, unhelpfully, in like the later Hitman games, you can see like the passage of where the security camera's looking on the ground. I'm not sure if it's only in census mode, but there's certainly a way of doing it. However, in this mode, you are stuffed apparently. So we just gotta Wait for it to be pointing over there. Sneak under it. Because we can't shoot it. And wait for it to be pointed back. And run. Okay. 
Oh, for God's sake. Which one got me? I don't even know which one got me. Okay. We're off looking for this bloody security office again. I guess. I can't unlock the door. That's just the kitchen. Is it this room? No? Where the hell is it? I think we've probably stuffed it again, gang. But I have no idea how. Sir, I'm sorry. This area oh, no, okay. Excuse me, what are you doing? Stop! Hey, close it. Yeah, combat, you're gonna kill me. I've lost the level anyway. Where's the bloody security footage? I'm actually going to have to go, I'm going to have to open Firefox and go look up the map of this place to find out where the footage is, because for the life of me, I cannot find it. <laughs> I instantly, I really hate, like, time things in games almost all the time. So if you've seen that I've completely collapsed, like, as soon as I got the time thing of you have to delete the footage, that's why. It's because I hate them. Right, okay, I'm going to hitmaps.com if you want to... Uh, if you want to come along. Uh, I'm looking for, not security check, destroy evidence. Okay, I think there actually isn't one. I think there is no place to destroy security footage once you're caught. Which seems weird. Uh, so don't get caught. I guess that would have to be it. What's this mission that we're called? What's this mission that we're playing called? Hang on. Uh, oh, it's not going to tell us, is it? That would be too helpful. Hmm. That is really bad. If they're like, oh, you have to eliminate the recording within two minutes, but lol, you can't. I also still don't know how we'd actually get there anyway, because, like, there's a camera covering that entrance. Hey, you, like that. There's a camera covering, covering the other entrance. And we've got no weapons. Actually, do we have no weapons? I'm just assuming we have no weapons. Oh, okay, we have weapons, but we didn't get told that we have weapons. That would have been nice to know earlier. Okay. Right, so all of that was basically for nothing, which I'm not best pleased by. Okay. Right, camera one down. This is going to be the run. Where's camera two? Up there. Fuck, someone saw that. I'm not sure who, because I couldn't see them. But I am apparently compromised. Uh, 
Lavin says the player has to raise the evidence from the surveillance system. Oh, does it say that in the objectives? No, it doesn't. The player must raise the evidence from the surveillance system located on deck zero near the speedboat. Oh! From the wiki, gotcha, alright. Uh oh, he's still coming for me. He is still coming for me. Do do. Well, this is not ideal. But could almost be an opportunity in its own way. If he comes in here. Hi there. I think he was about to have some, like, unique dialogue for the fact that this is a training mission, which is fun. Uh, anyway, we got him. And I'm no longer compromised. We don't have Silent Assassin, but that's okay. Right, just dump you in there. But it's a good thing I was hiding in there, because he proper checked for me. Uh, oh, I dropped my good gun, which is unfortunate. But that camera is now out of action. I'd like to put my gun away, please. All right. How are you doing? Where's going to be the next horribly placed camera that I won't see coming? Hi there. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Right, I've got to go upstairs. some point. So Such an eye for Where is there gonna be a camera? Maybe I should have the map open to look for cameras. But uh Alright. Can I go down this corridor? Yes. Okay. Right. Pick up kitchen knife. Pick up wrench. As the security guy, I can actually pick these up without arousing suspicion, so it's better to do it this way around. Alright. Back downstairs. Through this door. Are there cameras? Not that I can see. All right. This room seems clear of cameras. What's that? Oh, it's rat poison. We don't need it, but it's good to have. Cameras in this corridor. Can't see any. Can't see any. Target is there. Right, okay. No cameras down here, it seems. Fantastic. We'll just get our kitchen knife at the ready. Yeah, man. You look tough. Okay, now, ideal exfiltration point is the speedboat. Apparently the thing, the exit is here as well, so let's have a look. See if we can find this recording footage. No cameras in here. Fine. No cameras around this side. Fine.
Oh, is it that? Oh, amazing. Okay, right. So, we found the thing. Uh, I also want to try something that works in... Other Hitman games. I want to see if it works in this. It does not. Oh, it does work. Amazing. Even better. Okay. Right, so in the future we don't need to worry. We can just run through there and shoot that thing and everything should be fine. Okay, we could have done that better. But we didn't. Now it's okay. Mission accomplished. Fantastic. We've got half an hour left. I reckon we probably have time to try one more. Oh, okay. Right, so I have an additional target I need to eliminate. I need to eliminate Suit Guy, any method using Yacht Crew. I don't know which disguise is Yacht Crew, actually. <laughs> Lavendel says the girl is just like, nah, the recording suddenly is going all sparkly, but my job's just stand here. Alright. Okay. So. The start is going to be basically the same, except instead of killing all the cameras, we might kill just that first camera. And then we'll, uh... We'll just run through and delete the evidence off the second camera. Boomer says my job is guards, not ID support. Uh, excuse me, can I have that? Thank you. Alright, okay. So. Uh, can I be seen from here? No. Give me my gun. Gone away, fantastic. Right, who was it who saw me before? It was you, okay. Can we. No, you see that every time, even though I'm sure you can't draw a line of sight to me, you still see that. Which I'm not terribly happy about, to be honest. But okay. Right, he's gonna come and look for me again, I think. Same guy. That's. Can I actually I'm gonna restart rather than sit here and wait? It's gonna be a lot quicker to restart, isn't it? Uh, okay. Get this guy. Drag him through. Take his clothes. Sit here. Crouch. Acquire gun. Shoot camera. Right. See, I think you can't see me from here, but apparently you think you can. I wonder if it's actually one of the guests seeing me. I need help. No, you are seeing me! How? Alright. Let's restart the mission. Hmm. Apologies for, for, for restarting a lot. I'm just... I'm trying to figure out what's going on because there was no line of sight from me to him. I'm confident of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not with this guy, whatever. Let's 
Put him in the thing. Take his disguise. I guess we are just going to have to leave that camera. Because for some reason... We are ultra visible when shooting it. Pippa <laughs> says, we usually see you, that's how a stream works. Can I put this bloody gun away? Thank you. Alright. How does the camera work? Does it have a fixed angle or does it turn? It turns. Okay, so... We might be able to sneak under it. Oh, we snuck under it! Fantastic. Alright. Okay, so... We know there's no cameras below decks. Hi there, excuse me sir. From here, we should be able to just put the gun away please, thank you. Secure the surveillance system disabled, fantastic. This is normally where I'd save to just lock that progress in, but we can't do that. Uh, okay, having done that, we now need to uh, novel this guy. Put him in here. Now steal his clothes. Pick up his gun as well, put it away. We should now be able to go upstairs without any problems. I'm not sure what we're going to do about old Terry Norfolk, because I don't know what his deal is, besides, like, the opportunity to kill the main target. So far though, it looks like he's still not on board. Right, uh, excuse me sir. Is your disguise Yacht Crew? Yes it is, okay. So we can come back here and use you to assassinate him. In fact, where's the emetic poison? We found some emetic poison before. Oh, sod. Sod, 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 sod. I didn't see that guy coming, I was being sloppy and lazy, because I was worrying about bloody emetic rat poison instead of something I should have been worrying about. Like an idiot. Oh, he is coming and looking for me. Good. Good, I'm glad you don't care. You go back upstairs. I'll take out this guy as soon as he's out of this corridor, because there's someone watching him. Where the hell was that emetic poison? It's not in here. Oh, I hate my memory! Or lack thereof! Because I know we've got a limited window before he goes onto the yacht and then has a drink and then goes upstairs and I'm gonna miss it because I can't find the bloody poison. Where the hell is it? Was it in the kitchen? Well, he's still outside for now. Oh, for God's sake, not you again! Go away! No one likes you. Oh, you actually stand, like, by that. I hadn't quite realised. But you just want, then wander off that way. Okay. Poison? Poison in here at all? Anyone? He's on. He's on board now. We've missed our. We've missed our chance. When the hell is the bloody poison? Oh, don't pay me. It's not my fault. Oh, 
close the door, thank you. I'm a bit cross now, because I'm upset that I can't find the thing that I need. <sighs> There's poison in this level. Where the hell is it? Excuse me, do you guys have any poison? I'm sure it's somewhere on these lower decks. We we found it, not... Oh, it's in here, isn't it? Excuse my French, I'm sorry. It's probably too late now. But we'll give it a go, see if we can poison this drink. I know he takes a drink. I think it might be this one. Is it this drink? We're gonna say it's maybe this drink. Oh, thank God. Okay. Amazingly, we didn't miss that opportunity. Jesus Christ. Right, he's now going to wander off to the loose, where theoretically we can just drown him. Bimo says, you've sworn on this last out in any other stream? Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> That's what happens when Dizzy gets grumpy, unfortunately. It's not good. Right. Then we can just drown you. Glug, glug, glug. Uh, I think those guys are going to see his body if I come out, so we better, better dump it. Even though it stops it from being an accident kill, it's probably fine. Do you mind? And then we should just be able to sneak out this way. Might be easier than running to the speedboat. Oh god, hello! I didn't know you come, came and stood here, that's a shame. I could have waited for that and then shot the camera. Never mind. Alright, with a bit of scuffing, mission complete. Vivian <laughs> <laughs> says, be me, you swear like a sailor regardless. Well, I am dressed like one at the moment, so I guess it's allowed. Alright, we got 24 minutes. I reckon we can do the next level escalation. I don't think we can do the one after that. Although it partly depends on how much of a faff the next level is. Never spotted. Oh yeah, we did get spotted by that guy, didn't we? Right. Oh, good. All yacht security see through yacht security and crew disguises. Well, that's going to make this completely impossible. <laughs> Um, we have to assassinate a guy who sees through our disguise. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. We're going to try it anyway. Okay, we know how to deal with the cameras. They shouldn't be too much of a problem now. The first bit, we've got mostly down pat. We are going to have to grab the knife disguised as a mechanic now. Rather than disguised as the kitchen stuff, but that's okay. Right. Now I think I think Terry Norfolk actually only goes up on the boat when you enter a specific trigger area. So I think we can afford to wait around maybe if I'm lucky. Right. Okay, I think we should be able to just Hello. wander around this side. We bumped into that guy, but it's okay. We need to grab the rat poison. Okay. 
security guy, but he doesn't see through this disguise. He only sees through the other disguise, which is fine. Uh, it do. Please put the gun away, 47. Surveillance system disabled. Good news. Now, I can get up to the next floor in this disguise. I probably should, because I can get the yacht crew in the kitchen. Oh my god, it's this guy. Hi there. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Frick. Please close the. No! Say, excuse my French. Again, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to close the door. It's fine. Right. So, who is security that sees through this disguise? Those two guys. And then this guy who stands by that staircase. I think there might be a path from me to here. Oh, hell. Hi there, cadet. there is nearly a path from me to there. I will need to distract that guy. Sod. Sod, 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 sod. Guys, come down now. This is not good news. This is not good news at all. I was hoping to distract this guy and then use that chance to poison the drink. But they've come down. I don't know why they've come down. I don't know where they're going next. Okay. So he's coming aboard. I need to run. I need to really run now. He's not been distracted at all. Why has he not been distracted at all? Okay. Right. Please don't see me, please don't see me. Okay, we've poisoned the drink. Whoopsies, let's just hide here. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. We threw away our wrench when it turns out we didn't need to, which is unfortunate. We've still got a crowbar, so we can still... We can still non-lethal melee the guard downstairs to get his disguise. It's actually going pretty well, all things considered. Okay. No one's looking, no one's looking, no one's looking. Get inside, close the door. Drown him. Perfect. We can actually use his disguise. Which will get us back downstairs. I think. Uh, yes. You're allowed downstairs? It's not. No, this is trespassing. Okay, never mind. But it'll get us into the kitchen and get us into a mechanic's disguise. Oh, the kitchen is also trespassing, technically. I wish the doors would bloody be closable more easily. Grab the knife, grab the wrench, grab the hammer, grab the disguise. Right, as the mechanic, very few people see through me. Run here past the guy who does see through me. Right, that's the target. We can't let the target see us. Is 
There's another mechanic over there who ideally I'd like to get out of the way so I can ambush the target no matter what side he's on. Do I think I will be able to? What's this room look like? This room looks like a fairly good place to lure someone in. For God's sake, not if the blooming door closes though. You can just kind of stay here. I don't think anyone comes in these rooms. Right, okay, go get the yacht security disguise from this guy. We now have to be extremely wary of the target. I've got the kitchen knife. Does it say it has to be a melee attack? Uh, no, I just have to use the kitchen knife, so I should be able to throw it at them. Theoretically. Although. Oh, but kill him, kill him, kill him! Kill him! Where's the kill button? I'm really cross. I'm really cross that was going so well. Until I couldn't find the bloody button to stab him. You saw, I probably saw I saw it took a screenshot instead. Ah. Well. That's the mission done. Ah, okay. We've got 14 minutes. Do I think I can do the last level in 14 minutes, do we reckon? Hmm. <laughs> Another fine Dizzy quote. I think I do technically have a quote feature set up somewhere on my box, but I think because I don't have any mods, I don't think anyone actually has the permission to. <laughs> Uh, Rayfar says probably can do it. Boomer says maybe can do it. We'll see what the objective is. What's the new objective? Complete the mission within five minutes. Well, <laughs> I mean, I guess we gotta try. This is gonna be stressful as anything. I hate time limits. I hate time limits in games. They are the worst. Okay, that means no extraneous hiding of bodies. If, uh, if a person doesn't need to be hidden, we don't hide him. That means you, unfortunately, sir. Don't even get put in a nice place. At least two attempts, yeah. Uh, okay, this guy's a mechanic. And we are going to ignore trying to hide from the cameras. We are just going to shoot the camera. And erase the footage, because it's just quicker and easier. Pick up the rat poison. Super important. Run through here. Pass the target. Excuse me, target. Here. Grab thing. Shoot camera. Okay. Go upstairs. Oh god, we've already lost a minute. No, I need the, the yacht crew disguise. Wrong place. All right, in here. Uh, I don't have any way of taking you down quickly because I didn't pick one up. Right, you actually do need to be just uh, dumped because I need to open that door. Grab kitchen knife. Put, ki put kitchen knife away, please. Amazingly, that guy's not seeing this. Huh. 
Uh, he is not on board yet. Unfortunately. Do you mind, sir? Please. Please. Oh, for God's sake. I'm not gonna complete this mission because of that guy. At all. Right, okay. I really need him to come on. Is he gonna even come on the boat in five minutes? Maybe he's not. That's not good news for me. Where the hell are the stairs down? Not here. Those are the stairs up. Okay, got hammer ready. Here's target number two. Hi there. Uh, I actually want this as a distraction to lay you over there. Listen to me. I want everybody to just stay right here. I'll see what it was. Anyone? Anyone there? I don't think anyone comes here, but I'm going to hide you anyway. The target is still not on board the boat, with a minute to go. Where the hell is my mechanic disguise? Please put the gun away. Please put the gun away 47 when I'm pushing the put the gun away button. Button, my god. Okay. He... I actually don't know how to get him to come on board. But I don't think we're going to do this. Uh, we might just have to... Hang on, where's my yacht crew disguise? We might have to get him while he's not on the boat. No, yes, A disguises yacht crew. But, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, there's security guys by that, that door, aren't there? Okay, right. We go down the back stairs, and we have to pop him with a pistol from over here. And then just leg it, basically. Oh, are you kidding me? Now he goes on board! Now, please run faster, 47. Please run faster, 47. Well, okay, so much for Silent Assassin. But we did finish the mission. <laughs> That's rough if he doesn't come on board for most of the five minutes. My god. Oh, thank you for the applause, Love Angel. Oh my god, look at all those people running on the boat. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was going to be the easy escalation mission as well. My goodness. Uh, I got an achieve for that, which I'm assuming is for just finishing the escalation. Uh, first try! Yeah, first try! Yeah, complete level 5 of an escalation contract set in the ICA facility. My goodness. And <laughs> we were spotted. They did notice us killing people, and some of our bodies were found. Which is unfortunate. But, that only costs us points. That doesn't cost us uh, the thing. Oh my goodness gracious me. I was so excited by the prospect that I might do that like silently. <laughs> and then it just wasn't happening at all. Oh dear. Uh, so, that is going to be it from me for today. I want to say a big thank you to everyone so much for watching. As always. Uh... Thanks to Love Angel, to Boom Boom, to Shaskor, to Rayfire for being around in the chat. It's always lovely, ha lovely having you people around. Uh, thank you so much to Coyote for the follow and the raid earlier. Uh, that was lovely. Uh, it's nice to see new peeps. Um, if you are still around from that raid, uh, 
then my usual outro spiel is as follows uh my name has been dizzy thank you everyone so much for watching uh if you want to see some more of me uh you can do so on my youtube channel which should be linked in the description or my twitch which is twitch uh sorry my twitter which is uh at this demise uh my mastodon which is eldritch.cafe slash at this demise uh, we have five people, so I'm going to actually set up a, a cheeky little raid, so don't go anywhere just yet. Uh, but yeah, on my YouTube, you can find like all of the previous uh, Hitman VODs. We've completed Hitman 1 on the channel, like, properly, which is nice. Uh, who is live right now? Oh, I tell you who is live right now. Uh, someone who's playing a mystery game. I play quite a lot of mystery games. Uh, Emma Little Duck is playing a Sherlock Holmes game, which I do love to see. Let's see if I can actually <laughs> see if I can actually get this channel name on the first try and launch a successful raid. Uh, there we go. So yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to enjoy watching this. This is the Silver Earring. Uh, I hope you all have had a lovely time watching me. Uh, be good. Behave yourselves. Say hi to this wonderful new person. And I will see you all tomorrow at midday for some more Pokemon. Thanks very much and goodbye.